Frank, we've got trauma incoming. Self-inflicted gunshot wound. Single perforating gunshot wound with entry from the right side of the head. GCS 10. BP's holding at 70 on 45. Where'd you find him? Cemetery. He was at his son's grave. He's at a litre of normal saline. He's tacky at 100. Why couldn't you take him to another hospital? Good question. What's the problem? He shot Bart. Sorry, we didn't know. OK, I'll page neuro and get on to radiology for the head CT. No, I'll do it. Left pupils blown. Frank, we've got this. We'll need blood for FBC, UEC, including serum, osmolarity, group Holden and uh, crossmatch. And I'll need to secure his airway. Thank you, Frank. He's got good chest movement. His sats are holding. If we um, intubate, we run the risk of increasing intracranial pressure. Give a bowl some mannitol IV. That won't be enough. Did you hear what I said, Frank? Size 8 tube, sucks in thigh. Frank. Just do it. Intracranial pressure's increasing his hand, leg, toes, they're all indications of brain herniation. Sucks and thyro going in. Sean's right, his brain's been starved of oxygen for who knows how long. Even if he does survive this, what sort of neurological damage is he looking at? I don't know that. Neither do any of you. We know the likelihood of it coming through this unscathed is next to nothing. Then we'll try burr holes to relieve the pressure. Without a scan? Yes, without a scan. I mean... BP's increasing. Wouldn't it be better? Kind of. Just to let him go. Let him be with his boy. We're not making that decision here under these circumstances. That is exactly my point. If this were any other patient... I want this man stabilised and up in theatre now. If you don't want to help me, get out. 